Hey everyone. Um, I wanted to do a quick review on a couple of things here. Now I don't know if this is um, the guitar manufacturer's issue or if this is the issue of a little headphone amplifier uh, manufacturer called Cecilio or of all uh, little amplifiers that have a short a short plug. I'm trying to show you how short that might be uh, compared to the standard guitar amp plugs or headphone plugs that people might have laying around or are trying attempting to use anyway. Um, anyway, here's the issue. Uh, like I said, I got this here little acoustic electric guitar and it's got a Fishman amp uh, system, preamp system. It's very nice. See? And it even has an automatic tuner and all these really cool settings and such and a pulse and everything. And here's the master volume. There's no on-off to this. Every time you plug this into an amp or a system that will amplify the sound, the Fishman will um, automatically turn on. It takes a 9-volt battery, which you can open up right here like this and uh, snap back into place like that and so far I have found the uh, battery to last quite a bit here's the issue I'm having okay I wanted to be able to hear the uh, feature of the uh, electric right the fishman I wanted to hear what the fishman would do so I bought a uh, inexpensive somewhat inexpensive it's still kind of expensive pricey pricey enough if it doesn't work right um, it was around twenty four ninety five, and I got it through musician's friend. It's a little amplifier for um, uh, guitar. Uh, made it's a headphone amplifier, headphone guitar amplifier. I don't know. It's uh, the AC twenty S. Cecilio makes it. Anyway, I plugged it in. It looks simple enough. Here I'll show you the um, the features on this particular device. You have um, all of this. You have this kind of control. It's got its own on and off switch. It's got clean. It's got a little bit of something else. It's got distortion. And it has its own um, mic, uh, uh, not mic, but it has its uh, headphone jack and an auxiliary jack if you want to plug in a, oh, uh, like if you want to listen to an MP3, uh, your favorite song to play to it and such, it'll go right into this and amplify it through the headphone and such and its own volume and tone control anyway no major issues here and also it takes uh, mm, three double-a batteries which seem to be holding out in the two weeks that I've had this device at first it took me about two days to figure this one out though here's the problem I was having with this little device and I'm sure others have had it too which is why I'm addressing it anybody who has a headphone guitar amplifier jack and is trying to plug it into their acoustic electrical device whether it be a guitar, banjo, mandolin, whatever musical instrument take note of the the length of this shaft on the uh, on the jack that plugs into the end of your device or wherever your device is plugged into in this case it's the end nut of the guitar which also dually acts as a guitar strap holder what you need to do, because what you're going to find out is, okay, I'm, I'm going to show you something. Um, oh, and I found something else out that isn't addressed in the manual, which is now a timely time to bring it up, is the fact that they don't mention that you can use your computer as a, as a uh, interface for an amplifier if you don't have an amplifier, which I don't, can't afford one, <laughs> and I don't play electric guitar that much, so I don't really need to amplify it to others that much. So what I'm doing here is I have this, I had in my little junk box this extension or yeah it's kinda like an extension for a headphone jack to hook up you know lengthen your headphone jack or hook up things uh, between a headphone and a mic device. In this case I'm gonna plug one end into the mic jack of my computer like uh, so Did it, did it, did it, did bam. Did I get there? Yes. And then, um, I have a stiff neck. It's hard for me to, to see what the heck I'm doing down below with the knee. Anyway, um, then we take this end and we plug it in actually to the headphone side, headphone side over here. 
because what we're doing is we're taking sound out of and putting it into the computer interface and now what we're going to do, we're going to actually plug this in and I'm going to show you what happens and I'm also going to turn the device on nothing nothing, although I will show you that the device light is on and when I plugged it in to the Fishman preamp of the guitar, the little light flickered, right? Right, right. But you get no sound, even when you you adjust the volume. Nothing, nada. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, you know why? I'll show you why. Okay, turn it off. Turn it off. You hear the hum, but turn it off. Take it out, and here's what we're going to do. You see here this little nut? We're going to unscrew it. Yeah. I mean, it, it just like, um, I was about to go to a music store and pay somebody to tell me if, uh, while troubleshooting, if it was the guitar or the preamp, you know, or if it was uh, this little Cecilia. Well, here you go. You unscrew that little nut on the end, which is actually your, it, it protects this um, jack to the amplifier, the preamp system, and um, what you do is now you plug back in, and you push her all the way in as far as she'll go, and you turn her on, and you adjust your volume over here. Now I saw that this flicked on when you get the same thing here. We've got, I'll show you again. We've got. We've got this on, and when we plug it in, we get the flicker. See? Now, and you also heard a little bit of a hum, which is characteristic of an amp. RF is what it's called. Now, we can adjust the volume a little bit up, or back it down a little bit. You'll know in a moment. Adjust the volume on your guitar setting on the Fishman preamp as well, and put it up. And you can start fooling around with the different bass and the treble settings and such in a moment. Notice? Big difference, huh? Got it. That's all I wanted to say. So, when you go to hook up your little uh, preamp system to your little headphone amplifier guitar jack, make sure that you take into account, if it's not working, that you have a nut on the end that might not be of a conductive material. That's my point. It's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a, a flaw in design in a way. I'm not sure if it's the flaw in design. I, I, I think that it's the flaw in design of the actual amplifier itself because I find that they could extend this a little bit and it would be really a much better product, just a little bit so that it can accommodate the guitar amplifier and nut connections. I'd still buy it. I'd still buy it, by the way. I'd still buy this, but I'm glad that I found out what the problem was. Or, you know, you, it's hard to say. You could say that this was a problem with, with um, the guitar manufacturer not putting on a real metal nut on the end. In this particular case, this is a moderately priced guitar, okay? Moderately cheap, inexpensive. It was made in Asia. I don't know if that says anything, but it, it probably doesn't. I mean, it's a well-made guitar. It's beautiful. Beautiful little guitar. But I think that with hooking it up here, we need to stay conductive metals or something. I don't know exactly why they just coated that with like chrome or paint or something. I don't know. Anyway, my point is unscrew the nut, replug her back in, see if you have some results. Thanks. I hope this helps everybody. Bye.